Hi, this is Chris from Papershift, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Papershift account in a few steps and get started. So let's uh, go into the account. Um, so if you're starting uh, our trial or you're starting using Papershift uh, and you're going to the account uh, for the first time, it will probably look something like this. Now, what you can see here is the, uh, the shifts, uh, so some example ones, and you can see here it says example working area. Uh, the working areas are the areas in your business. So for example, a restaurant would have the kitchen, the bar, uh, waiters. So uh, let's say for a restaurant, we change that to kitchen. Let's say we uh, also have people working at the bar and uh, also waiters. Now you have uh, the example shifts here and to create shifts all you have to do is click on a day in the calendar that you want the shift to start on. Uh, select the time, so for example for, uh, we have a shift here in the bar uh, from 9 to uh, let's say 4 and you can select the working area here. And then you choose here which days the shift will be on. So let's say Monday to Saturday every week. Click create and click done. So now you can see uh, you have the two working areas and your shifts for the working areas. And we're currently in uh, the week, the 20th uh, January. And if we go to uh, future weeks, you can see that we have um, the shifts there as well. So you don't need to create the schedule each week. Uh, all you're doing is creating it once and then it goes uh, into the following weeks. Now on the left hand side here we have our employees. So currently we just have one employee shown, Patrick. And um, if you uh, click on him and add him to a shift like this, you see the shift has been filled and has turned green. You'll also notice that uh, his hours here that he's working in the week are being recorded and he's contracted to work 20 hours per week. Let's see what happens if we add in some more shifts. You see it's gone orange because he's coming up to his limit and red, he's gone over. So just click again to remove him from that shift. Now let's add one or two other employees. Just type the name, press enter. and just refresh to see their hours. So I've entered my two new employees and um, now there are two things that you want to set for your new employees. Um, so we'll want to uh, just click here and we'll want to set the working areas that they work in and their contracted hours. So to add the working areas, uh, they're automatically added uh, to all of them. So just click on the edit here and let's say uh, Hannah is just in the kitchen. Click done. And then uh, let's just add her working hours as well. So for example, she should work 20 hours per week. And click done. And then uh, for Sarah, for example, uh, let's say she's also in the kitchen. Now, when you're um, adding your employees to your shifts, you don't need to click their name and click on the shift like I showed you before. Uh, when you've assigned the people to the working areas, all you have to do is click on uh, the shift and it will show you who is available uh, at that time in that working area. So it won't allow any scheduling conflicts if they're scheduled somewhere else. Uh, so let's add Hannah and click done. And then she's now assigned to uh, the shift um, on the Monday. Uh, note that uh, when we click there, it's not showing Patrick because he's not in that working area. And the last thing I wanted to show you uh, was the absences feature. So to add an absence, uh, there are two ways. Um, we have the absences uh, section here, or you can uh, click here to access the absences calendar. 
Uh, just click on the day or you can scroll along for days uh, that the person will be absent. Um, and then choose the, the type of absence they have. So let's say Patrick has, um, is requesting two days off. Just click done. And then you can confirm that. The employees can also uh, enter their requests as well and then you can uh, decide to, to confirm them. Now we've added that um, absence to the calendar and we see that when we go back to the shift plan, uh, Patrick's been taken out of these two shifts and we have a notification here showing us uh, that he's off that day. So we can then add um, someone else to that shift. So that's everything uh, I wanted to show you. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, just call us or get in touch and uh, have fun using Vapeshift.